How you doing, folks? I'm Bill Honachewski, and welcome to So What About New Jersey History. Uh, today, I'm at the bucolic waters of Spruce Run Reservoir at the boat launch area. Uh, today, actually, uh, Governor Murphy signed uh, Executive Order 118, which pretty much closes county and state parks uh, till further notice. But today, I'd like to tell you about a little-known house located on uh, uh, state property. It's actually behind me, you'll see a large white house, and you could usually, you could see it from the boat launch area. This is known as the Hugh Exton House. Now, it's actually uh, not open to the public, not available to the public as it's on state property. Uh, now, this house was part of Union Farm, and Union Farm uh, was purchased by a gentleman by the name of Hugh Exton. Uh, from William Allen and Joseph Turner, who actually paid for it, Hugh Exton paid for it in 800 pounds of gold, which surprised the agent of Allen and Turner's agent at the time, a gentleman by the name of Robert Taylor, who eventually founded Taylor Iron and Steel Company. Again, this is Bill Honachewski, and thank you for listening.